Okay, so today I've decided not to do a voiceover. Um, every time I've done it last time, it just hasn't worked out. My microphone either screws up and you can't hear anything or else it's too loud and it just nothing meshes well. So today um, I'm gonna do just a walkthrough while I'm doing my makeup because that'll just make it a little bit easier for everyone to understand what I'm saying and see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. So for Christmas this year, I got this, if you can see it, Quo Playtime Palette. My grandparents got it for me this Christmas, so I figured why not do this for my New Year's tutorial, because I haven't really gotten a chance to use it yet. Um, so we're going to start off with this color right here. It's this little silver one in between, and it kind of has a blue tint to it. So what I'm actually going to do is just rub my figure right in it. Because that's the way that I can get the most product on, and I'm just going to start patting that on. So, from here, I'm going to take this blue color right in the middle. Just because it has a little bit of a blue tint, I'm going to put this in the inner corner. So I'm just taking a clean finger. Mm. By the way, you should have a makeup wipe ready to wipe your fingers off, which I do not have ready. So I'm just going to grab one real quick. Just took that middle color from that little blue, and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. So I'm going to go back into that silver again. You'll notice that I keep um, going back into it and popping it back over top because I don't want to lose its luster that it has because I don't want anything to make it look more dull. Alright. I'm going to go into this palette here. I'm mainly just using these two palettes. So I'm doing my Naked 2 palette here and I'm taking the color Pistol which is this kind of silvery color. And I'm going to take my finger once again and just go into that color and place this on the outer corner of my eyelid right up from the lash line don't worry it doesn't have to be too precise or anything because you're going to take a brush to it in a minute okay so now I'm going to go into the color blackout which is this black color here from the Naked palette. And I'm going to start off with this one just taking a shading brush. Just a tiny bit on my brush. And don't worry if it looks a little bit messy. Usually when you put dark colors on it ends up looking like a lot, but we're going to blend it out anyway. So I'm taking it from the outer corner of my lash line, just popping that in there and then bringing it up. And I want to make sure that I'm not taking it all the way into the inner corner. I'm stopping right about just past the halfway point of my crease. Take a little bit more. Place that in the middle there. And then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and start to blend that out. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into the Playtime palette, and there's a black color in there as well. I just wanted to set down the matte black first, and then I'm going to go into this kind of shimmery black right here, and take that right over top of the black that I just put in. I'm just taking another brush, and just working that into the outer corner. I'm just going to blend that out just a little bit. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm just going to take that white and just make sure that nothing 
fell underneath. This is why I'm, I didn't start with my foundation first like I usually do, just because there's so much fallout while I'm doing this uh, eyeshadow that I don't want it to be all over my face. So I'm using um, Rimmel London Soft Coal Eye Pencil in Jet Black, I believe. And I'm just going to do my waterline and my tight line. So now, I'm just going to highlight my eye. I'm just taking my fingertip again, and this is this Playtime palette has a highlight color in it, so I'm just going to take my finger and just place a little bit underneath my brow. It's so shimmery. It's so beautiful. Okay, and I'm just going to take that just a tiny bit on the inner corner of my eye, too. All right. Alright, so I found my angled brush, and I'm going to go into blackout, the same color that I put in my crease from the Naked palette. And this is the part when it gets a little bit messy. So I'm just going to take a little bit of toilet paper. But don't worry, you can always clean up afterwards. Pull this down a little bit. Alright. Just gonna wing that up a little bit just so it will connect once I put it on my top lashes. This is what the smudge brush looks like. Just a really dense brush, very flat at the top. So what I actually did was I took a little um, Q-tip and I just put a little tiny bit of makeup remover there just so I can kind of shape the line a little bit more there just so it's not extremely smudged out there. I want it to be a little bit thinner towards the inner corner. Now I'm just going to take that black color onto the upper lash line. Just really blending that in there. I kind of wanted to go for a little bit more grungy look, so don't worry about trying to be too precise. And I'm kind of pulling that straight out from the center of my lid. And just winging that out. Bringing it in to a thinner line as we get to the inner corner. Alright, so now that we've gotten that done, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. We're just going to clean up the outside here, because I kind of flicked a little bit all over the place with that, oops, when I was using the angled brush. So I'm just going to gently clean up a little bit, and don't worry about being too precise because we're going to take concealer anyway once we're finished up with that. I'm just going to take that color that I used at the very beginning on my fingertip and pop that down again. Just so you really get that silvery color there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and curl the lashes. And just so you know, you're going to put on tons of mascara. I didn't want to use fake eyelashes, so I decided to just put on a crap ton of mascara. I hate using fake eyelashes, and this is actually what I'm going to wear on New Year's, so I know that they're just going to bug the crap out of me if I do that. 
So I'm using Maybelline 1x1 One One, uh, Volume Express, and this is in Blackest Black. So we're just taking that through the lashes. Alright, so while those are drying, I'm just going to do my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to do um, probably about three more coats after this. So I'm just going to shut it off, and as soon as I'm finished, I'll bring it back, and I'll show you guys what the final look of the mascara is. Alright, so now that I've gotten my lashes pretty much done, I'm just going to take um, one of these little tools that look like that, and I'm just going to comb through it with the little comb side, just because... As soon as you put in at least four coats of mascara, it's going to start to clump up a bit. So I'm just taking this and just separating my lashes together. Okay, um, so that's the eyes for the most part. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to turn this big light back on. Okay, um, I'm going to do something a little different than I usually do with my eyebrows. And I always never have everything together. Okay. Um, I'm using this gosh little duo that I found, and it is matte. And this brown eyeshadow I kind of like because the other brown eyeshadow that I have for my um, brow kit that I usually use is almost a little bit too dark, I would say. So I'm just going to grab the little brush that comes with that other set and I'm just going to set my eyebrows down with that shadow. So I'll be right back, I'm just going to grab the brush. Alright, so I'm just going to grab this little brush here. It's just a, like a little shading brush. It's actually called a blending brush, that's what they call it. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of that brown shadow and I'm just going to start to fill in my brows. They're a little sparse in some areas. So I'm just going to try to cover that up. So what I'm doing is I'm just going with the direction of the hair growth. So I'm just wisping it up and then pulling it down just to define the outer corner of the brow. And then I'm just going to take that same tool that I used before, this one, and I'm just going to brush that through. Kind of, It's lighter towards the outside for some reason, so I'm just going to try to... I'm not even going to bother touching the outside, but I'm going to try to blend out the color up at the top here so it kind of matches. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other brow. And then we'll get started on the face. Okay, so now that I've filled my brows in, um, my eye makeup is pretty much finished. Um, I'm just going to start moving on to the face. So I'm just taking this Lubriderm Unscented Moisturizer Lotion. I'm just going to take a dime-sized amount and work that into the skin. Primarily in the spots that I get most dry. So that would be kind of like my T-zone, always kind of gets very dry. I'm just going to take this Gosh uh, Extreme or Exceptional Wear Long Lasting Makeup in the color Porcelain and I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm doing uh, my foundation routine a little bit different than I have usually done it but I noticed that last time I did my makeup doing it like this actually gives me a more flawless look and it doesn't look so caked on. So I'm just going to take a little bit onto a foundation brush and just start to brush that into the skin.
I'm just using Gosh's Click and Conceal. Uh, this one's in the color light. So I have a tiny little blemish here. Just gonna pat that down. And then I'm gonna move on to the under eye area. Okay, so I'm just placing that on there. I don't really have any other blemishes that need to be covered up. So I'm just taking my finger and just make sure that your finger's clean before you start doing this. Whoopsie, I went into my black. Kinda got that all over the place, didn't mean to do that. It's all right though. So I'm just pulling this down towards where my cheekbone is, kind of, so it um, blends in together with my skin a little bit more. And I'm just gonna dot around this little blemish up here, just to make sure that I'm not actually removing any of the product. So the foundation's done. Now I get to use my new Hoola bronzer and I'm so excited about it. I just got it. So this is Hoola by Benefit and it's a matte brown bronzer. And it's really nice on kind of lighter skin tones such as myself um, to medium skin tones. And it kind of just really brings out your features very well. So I'm just taking a large fluffy brush, just kind of like an all over facial brush. I'm just working that in to the underside of my cheekbone. All right, and now finally, I'm just gonna take this Gosh um, Natural Blush in 43 Flower Power. I'm just gonna take my blush brush by Arbonne, which looks like this, and just dab a little bit in there. and place that on the apples of my cheeks. All right, and now finally to finish off the face, I'm just taking this Revlon Photo Ready uh, translucent powder and I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes with a large fluffy brush by EcoTools and kind of right in my T-zone and on my chin. And I'm not really gonna worry about any anywhere else because no, nothing else really needs to be set. Um, I'm also going to take that same highlight color that I used here and a precision brush, which I don't have out. So I'm just going to take this precision brush here and I'm going to go into that highlight and I'm just going to highlight the contours of my face. So that's kind of like just this C shape right here. Um, I got these Burt's Bees tinted lip, what are they called? Tinted lip balms. So this one is in hibiscus and it looks like that. And I'm just gonna pop that on my lips. Smells good. All right. Okay, so this is the completed look. Put my hair down, I just got my hair cut yesterday. All right, so thank you for watching and um, I hope that you guys like this tutorial. And if you do, just please subscribe and comment and like and um, if you have any suggestions on anything that you'd like to see me do, then please just leave a comment and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.